let's use the discount example again and let's assume that you needed to provide a discount for bronze or silver, gold, or platinum, but it had to be calculated. So what you could do is you could define an abstract function and you could say discount percent, we could say calculate discount percent, and it's gonna return a, it's gonna be a function and it's gonna return an integer. Now what you're gonna see here is I spelled abstract wrong. And now as soon as we get that fixed, we have a bunch of errors here saying class bronze is not abstract and does not implement the abstract member calculate discount percent as defined inside of this type. And the same thing happens here for silver and gold and platinum. So what we can do is we can add some curly braces here and then we can implement that interface and actually we'll see, excuse me, implement that abstract class, that abstract function. And we can either just do it in line here or since this is gonna be, you know, if you're gonna perform some type of complex comp, uh, calculation, you could you could do that in here and, you know, perform your, your logic and, and so forth. And then finally return, you know, whatever five or whatever, whatever you've calculated. Or if you just know it's going to be very simple, uh, you can also inline it. So we might be able to just say five here and the same thing would happen here. Again, I would need to implement that member here. And then I could say, 10 and what I'm going to do is just copy this over because this is easy and then we have to space that over we'll have 15 and again these, these are different percentages than I had last time but for the same for the uh, example here they're all the same here so calculate that accordingly so and it looks like it's expecting a semicolon at the end of this after we've kind of built all that up now what I can say is if we use that same type of example again, maybe we have something coming from the API and it's just all spelled kind of really weird with weird casing. We would want to say we have the account type and we got that from the account type dot value of, and then we take the from API, go to uppercase. Now we have that type. And then we could say print line account type dot calculate discount percent. And if it's going to be gold, which we could run it, we should see that we're going to get 15, which we do. If we change this to, to num, which, you know, we'll just do a weird casing here to mess with it. And platinum is 20. So that's how you can implement an abstract method inside of an enum. This would be very useful again, if you are not sure what you are going to return. Of course, it's gonna be an int and you need a lot larger calculation. You can use a, a larger block here. So it could, you could do a bunch of, bunch of work here and then you're gonna return whatever that value is. If it's, you know, for example, maybe you know it's gonna be a var percent and you wanna start off at, you know, zero, no discount percent and you get to return a percent here. And perhaps you're gonna kind of do calculations inside of here based upon maybe some other constructor parameters that you have inside of the account type, which we don't have any here, but if you did, uh, you, can, you can perform all those calculations here. And that's how you can use a abstract function inside of a Kotlin enum.